Okay, so thank you so much for joining us today. Welcome to the virtual open house. We hope that we'll be able to provide the information that you're looking for. So we are glad that you can join us today. My name is Joyce Menu. I'm one of the professors here at George Brown College. I teach in the School of Management. Now, as you can see, this room here is for the Trades Management Program. So I'm sure that if you're joining us, this is the right room that you are actually looking for. We are glad to share information about this new exciting program that we are all very passionate about. So we don't have a lot of time. I'm just going to say that the chat room is open. If you have any questions, please feel free to post it there. We've also provided contact information. My contact information is there. The email for the Center for Business is also there. You can definitely send us email after this presentation and then we'll be more than happy to answer your questions. We also have the landing page for this program. Well, the, the website is not fully developed yet, but the link that we've provided for you, you can actually use it to access information in the landing page. There is a form there that you can actually fill out and we can reach out to you if you have any questions. So let's get started. For today, we are going to talk about the program. I'm just going to give you some basics about the program. I'll share the uniqueness of the program and why we think it's very beneficial for trades professionals. I'll also talk about the structure of the business as well as how you can apply and the admission requirements. So let's get started. Well, earlier this year, we got approval from, for this program from the Ministry of Colleges and Universities. We were working on this program for a long time, over two years. And so when the approval came in, we were extremely excited and we were more, even more excited because now we get to offer it to potential students who will actually benefit from it. We are going to launch the program officially in fall of 2022. Now three colleges came together to actually create this program, Algonquin, Mohawk and George Brown. And the main idea was to provide additional opportunities for trades professionals. So why do we say that? How is this program going to help provide such opportunities? Well, first of all, it's a very flexible degree completion program del delivered fully online. It means that you don't have to go to class. You can be working part-time and still taking this. You can be working and still taking this course, this program part-time. Now, it's mainly meant for people who want to advance their careers and take on managerial roles in their organizations or any other organizations that may have the opportunities that they are looking for. So if you are working in any type of skill or any type of field in the trades and you want to move into managerial positions, this program is structured to provide the business-related knowledge, skills, and experience that will help you to do so in order to you know, move ahead, explore other opportunities, and take on leadership roles in your organization. The program also uh, en enhances entrepreneurial skills, which means that if you wanted to start your own business, which we think always happen in the trades industry, a lot of trades professionals start their own businesses. So this program is also meant to enhance your entrepreneurial skills so that you could actually start your own company, manage it really well, and become very successful. Or maybe you already have a business that's running and you just want to expand it or make it even better. This program has the content that will help you to also do so. Now, besides these, we also realize that the program is beneficial for really anybody in the trades. So let's see how that is. Well, this is a, a program that moves you from the trades to degree, right? We realize that there are a lot of very good trades related diploma programs out there, but not all of them can lead you into a degree program. And that's why this is very special. It means that we recognize what you've done in the trades and help you to build on that to get a degree in business administration. And so now you can be working as usual, take part-time courses as you earn your degree. Now, sometimes students may also graduate from bachelor's programs and may want to pursue further education. 
And so if you were the type of person that would like to advance your education and move into master's programs, this also will help you to do so. It could be a master of business administration program or any other program, master's program that you may be interested in. Once you finish this program and you have the bachelor's degree, now you can pursue further education if you choose to do so. The other feature that makes it unique is that this is the first of its kind in Ontario. Really, there's nothing like this in Ontario. And the idea is that it's going to create a lot of flexibility in terms of career choices for trades professionals. We know that trades professionals are very skilled in what they do. They love what they do. They help us out in everyday life. But this is a chance for them to explore other things in the business field. So if you want to do other things that are business related, this gives you a chance to expand your skills, expand your knowledge and your experience and be able to take advantage of that. So that also makes the program very, very unique. And then of course comes the idea that three colleges actually created this program. So you can imagine the resources, the expertise that have gone into creating the program. And of course, if you are a student, you benefit from the resources from all these, these three colleges. You benefit from the expertise of the professors. And by the time you're done, you are fully equipped to be able to go out there and explore these opportunities in business that we are talking about. So you're going to take courses from all the three colleges. As and when you register, the system will prompt, the system will prompt you to know which school is offering that particular course and you'll be able to choose it. So that's how the program is going to run. Also, when we were designing the program, we consulted with industry experts. And so we did not take anything for granted at all. These trades industry experts provided us with the needed information, the needed input for us to tailor the program towards the needs of trades professionals. So you, you realize that as you take these business courses, they are also very relevant to the trades. And so you're going to be able to move from what you already know and add more knowledge and skills to it so that by the time you're done, you have the knowledge and skills necessary to move into other roles that you may be interested in. So that's also another very unique feature of this program. This part is also very exciting. We have 420 hours of work-related learning. So this is an online course, but we realize that, you know, taking courses online will be fun, but that doesn't help you to practice what you're learning. And the practice is extremely important. And so what happens is that we've created a mandatory co-op in addition to the courses that you will be taking. And you're going to be placed in different organizations and work practice exactly what you're learning in class so that by the time you finish, you have very good experience practicing what you're learning and ready to go out there and work, right? So we realize this will make the program even more unique because you don't have to go out there and try to struggle to practice what you learned. You are going to do that before you graduate. And together with the skills that you already have, you are going to be able to perform very well in any role that you choose to apply to. Now, the structure of the program is also very unique, right? Besides all these unique features, the structure itself is also unique. And why do I say that? Well, normally, if you are entering into any business degree, you know it's four years, right? So you start from first year, you finish in the, at the end of the fourth year. Now, this one actually allows you to start in the third year, which makes it really, really special. So what happens is that we recognize the work that you did in your previous studies in the trades. And therefore, we give you transfer credits, which make up for the first two years of this program. We also realize, though, that when you're taking trade programs, you may not necessarily have done a lot of business courses. Some trade programs have business courses and others don't. And so in order to bridge any gap that may be between the first two years that you are skipping and the third year, we've created bridging courses. And so whenever you apply, 
Um, we're going to assess your credentials from the previous study and be able to identify what bridging courses you need to take. And then once you finish taking the bridging courses, you will be able transi to transition into third year of this program. So let me show you a couple of examples of these bridging courses. For example, if you are coming from the Building Renovations Technology Program, which is a trades program, you take these bridging courses, microeconomics, macroeconomics, statistics, and then principles of business management and research. Now, for students coming from Building Renovations Technology, they have already done a lot of intro business courses. And so they will skip the principles of business management aspect of this course and move straight into the research part. Other programs that may not have a lot of business related courses, when students come from those programs, they would have to do probably more um, bridging courses. And here's another example. This is the Business Trades Ontario College Diploma. So in this one, if you were coming from this very program into this um, business administration program, then you have to take five bridging courses, right? So we've included financial accounting here because students in this particular trade program did not take financial accounting. So that's how we're going to assess previous studies and determine how many bridging courses you really have to take in order, to, in, in addition to the liberal studies courses. Here is another example, Motive Power Technician Program. You're going to take these bridging courses. And then this is the final one. Now you see that we have four examples here. It does not mean that if you are coming from any program outside these four, you cannot apply. These are just the ones that we've already assessed. It means that when you apply, as I said earlier, we're just going to try and assess whatever you have, your credentials, and then determine what you need to take in order to get into the third year. And so when you start, that's what you do first. You take the bridging courses and then move on to the third year upon successful completion. Now, we also realize that you may want to know what courses are going to be taken in the third and fourth year. So here are some examples that are put in this table for you. So you realize that in the third year, you may take, you will take computer business applications, risk management, marketing, right? In, this, in the third semester, third year, you're going to take managerial accounting, business law, project management, and all these courses that are here. You can find a lot of these from the website too. If you want to explore further and know the courses, you can definitely go there and check them out. For the fourth year, that is the level seven and level eight, these are the courses that you'll be taking. These have been designed very, very well, tailored to the trades, so that you see that all the projects that you'll be, you'll be taking in this, in this program, all the assignments will be directly related to the trade so that you can really apply the knowledge and the skills in your field and be able to succeed. So now who can actually apply into this program? Well, you can apply if you have a diploma from any trade related Ontario college, right? So any trade related um, program that you took here in Ontario can actually qualify you to enter into this program. Or maybe you are a trades person with Ontario College Trade Certificate of Qualification. You can also get into this program or any other credentials that are equivalent to these, right? If you are coming from other provinces, you can also enter into this program. As soon as we assess your credentials, we will be able to direct you as to which bridging courses you need to take and be able to enter the third year. So you realize that it's really flexible. We've done everything in our power to ensure that what you've done previously will definitely count towards this degree. Now, how do you actually apply? Well, you apply through OCAS, the Ontario College Application Service. So this is where you go, your application will go to. You get to choose a home school because there are three colleges involved. So you choose one as your home school your credentials will be sent to the center or to that college, and then it will get evaluated 
your bridging courses will be identified and now you get to start registering and taking your courses. So it's very, very straightforward. Once you finish your bridging courses, you move it in third year and you finish those, then you complete your degree. And then you get a diploma that has all the names of the three colleges on it. So very, very straightforward. We are so excited about this program. We're looking forward to welcoming students in the fall of 2022. So as I said, you can register, um, you can find out more information. We are starting in fall of 2022. You take your bridging courses and then you're good to go to start in the third year. It's part-time at this point, so you can take it at your own pace. Take whatever number of courses will work for you as you continue to work, right? So it doesn't disrupt anything that you're currently doing. We've already provided my contact information in the chat. As I said, together with the Center for Business email, you can always contact us and we will have answers to any questions that you may have. So this brings me to the end of the presentation, very straightforward. Um, I'm just going to now stop and ask uh, Kaylin if there's any questions in the chat that we can discuss or answer. So thank you so much for your attention and thank you for coming once again. Awesome, Do thank we? you. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, so there's someone asking if high school courses would be transferable as well. Okay, thank you very much. That's a very, very, very good question. So currently the program is structured as, as I mentioned for people who are in the trade. So let's assume that you you finish high school and you go to take any diploma program related to the trades. So those courses that you, you took during your trades education, right? The courses that you took towards your trades diploma are the ones that are going to transfer into this program. And that's the ones that we give you credits for. Did I answer that question who asked it? Is there any other question? Which means that we are actually now considering um, students who have finished high school and gone on to take diploma programs in the trades. And those are the ones that can be able to enter this program because we would consider the courses that you took when you had your trades diploma program. All right, uh, we do have another question and it says, is the co-op something you automatically get or do you have to apply for it? So at this moment, at this time, we are still working out the details, but we are hoping that we will be able to incorporate it in the program such that we will have very good options for students to get placed. So if it comes to the point that you would have to apply, we will still find the options so that we make the application process easier for you. We will link up with different organizations and then we will have the positions so that you can actually apply for them. But it's not something that we're going to leave students on their own to go and look for. We will try to work out the, the details in a way that it will make it very easy for students to actually apply into these programs for the co-op. So we are really looking forward to starting this program and looking at the benefits that really students would, would enjoy because we have not started it yet. So we do know that it has a lot of potential but we just have to wait and see how it turns out. We know that it's going to really create a lot of opportunities. If you have any questions further, by all means, please reach out to us as we've said, and we'll be more than happy to provide that for you.